What's going on guys? My name is Brad from the Emerald Minecart and I know that this is the third poly bag review in a row. I actually have a couple of poly bag sets to be reviewing. This one is set number 30531. Sons of Garmadon, recommended ages 7 to 12. I don't know if he just turned my brother scream because he did just scream. I don't. And the dog is whining now. Perfect. So I hope you don't hear that background noise. But 38 pieces. I am filming in, in my own studio. This is a separate room from the rest of my house, unlike some other times. But you can still hear background noise because it's just a door. So I don't know if you can hear it, though. But anyways, let me put that down for a second. And I'd like to promote the minifigure of the day. We don't need to name this because I already came up with the perfect name. In case you haven't seen, in case you haven't seen some of my other videos where I've nicknamed some of these, here we have the Squatty Potty Unicorn, Mary Poppins. What else we got? We have the Lone Ranger, the Rocket Mortgage <sighs> mascot, uh, Donkey's wa Donkey's Wife from that Green Ogre movie. Uh, called, um, released in 2002, I think it was called Shrek, was it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Shrek is right. Yep, Shrek, Green Ogre movie. Nice. Um, here we have Ronald McDonald, and this is Dudley Dursley, Mary Poppins' sister, and Deputy Barney Five from the Andy Griffith Show. <sighs> More background noise. TV must be turned up really, really loud. Come on. Come on. Okay, this won't focus. But anyways, how about just one minifigure? This is the Sons of Garbodon gang member included in this set. Now, the poly bag just says Sons, it's just titled Sons of Garbodon. This guy does not have a name, but he is pretty cool if I can get, uh, get the camera to focus on that torso right there. Will it? Please? Please be my friend today, camera. Please. Yes! Yes, finally. That torso print looks absolutely amazing. I don't know if the blues and the pinks are popping up on the camera, for the camera, as well as they are here. Oh, wait, now they're popping up. Oh, yeah, now you can see the silver detail. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So, yeah, this is an absolutely phenomenal torso print. If we turn it around to the back, still doing some great torso prints. I don't really have any other Sons of Garmadon biker gang minifigures to compare this to because I haven't bought any of the Sons of Garmadon Ninjago sets. I can if you guys want me to. I'll try to get some more. Oh, yeah, moving back around to the front. Yeah, it's like just, an, just the normal helmet that's been used on millions of sets including Lego City, Ninjago, Lego Movie. Oops. And a couple other things. I, be, I believe this piece was made back for the Lego movie for this um, super secret SWAT robots. I believe that's where when this piece was made. If I can get this to go back on. One second. There we go. So yeah, I didn't get any of, the, uh, any of the SWAT that did have this. So that's pretty cool for me to get. So that's what he looks like with that on. If I can get his mouth to actually pop up. There, can I actually see it? Well, it's kind of hard to see. So I'll, now I'll quickly turn it around to the back so you can see his alternate face. Doesn't really make any difference because it's kind of kind of a little bit of a darker setup. I'll just show you what it looks like without the visor down. Just the angry face, the face that showed on the poly bag. He's got no sleeves on and he has a red katana as an accessory. So I think this is absolutely phenomenal minifigure to put in a poly bag. And here he is on the bike itself. The bike itself is... Uh, kind, kind of a good build. I know that some of the Lego collectors out there are kind of getting sick of these Ninjago bikes. But I actually think this one's kind of cool for what it is. It's got a nice purple, black, and red color scheme going for the uh, sword with the swords on the front. This kind of reminds me of uh, like a miniature version of uh, Mr. E's bike from the Street Race Snake Jaguar set. Don't have it. Can't review it. I can review it. I can review it if you guys want me to. I'd have to buy it first, so that may be a while. It is just using some Technic axles and some more Technic pieces like these right here to connect them together and some Technic bricks right there. Um, he does have a place for his swords, and this actually where you're supposed to put them. They really don't advertise. Well, it is shown on the box as him, well, in the poly bag as him having them as his weapon, but um, the instructions say to put it here, so I just did that. He does roll pretty well. And overall, 
I just kind of think it's cool. I like kind of like the just the black at the front and then the splash of purple back here. I like that. That's pretty cool. So you could have them writing like that, you know, like just writing calm, having, uh, you know, just having a good day, just driving to go roll a bank or something since they are the bad guys. Then you can have them turned around to this expression, like when the ninjas show up to stop them or when he's racing, you can have it down like this to make him seem cool. Like that. Oh, that's way that. So, ooh, that's pretty cool. If you could get it to just stay like that, like it shows on the packaging with this, have him hold his sword up, that would be really cool. Actually, you kind of want to see. Can I get a picture of that real quick? There we go. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. But overall, I think that's about it for the build, so we'll go ahead and move on to the packaging. So, another poly bag. So, the packaging's pretty cool. Pretty much just like all the other Sons Gormadon sets. Kind of got like the bridge thing in the background and then the set right there. Turn this around to the back. It's got the kids go free to Lego Land. I think I got five of those now. So, I can go to Lego Land five days or if I want to share it with my brother. Up here, we just have Lego, Ninjago, Master Jitsu, Garmadon's back. Spoiler alert, Garmadon's been resurrected. He's back to life. And as you can see, the instructions are still in there. So how about I get them out and we'll take a look at them. So here are the instructions. We'll take a look at them. Okay, sorry about that. That was a little weird. But yeah, here's the instructions. Just got the set number there. This is what the European boxes look like. It's just this. That's what it would look like. On the back, I'm not going to fold it out because I can't fold it back in. We got win, lego.com, slash rb2018. You can go ahead, like, if there's any code, any important code that I just don't know about it, just go ahead and take it because I don't want to participate in the survey or anything. Um, the Lloyd right there. It's the Ninjago movie Lloyd, so we can call him the Lloyd because he's from the Ninjago movie. So, yes, still more the Lloyd. But, yeah, that's about it for the packaging. Oops, sorry, me and the instructions. So overall, I think this is a pretty cool poly bag. Definitely worth your three dollars at Walmart or four dollars at Target or depending on wherever you get this from. And I think this is pretty cool. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.